Hello everybody, it's me Bear coming at you one more time from the Game Throne with a redundant episode of the Dark Souls run-through series. It's redundant because I've already made pretty much this exact same video, but for the sake of posterity and keeping things in nice neat order, I thought I'd continue anyway. Head across the bridge away from Andre's bonfire. Don't step on this trap in the floor. If the gate isn't open, go back to previous videos in the series and follow them along until you find a way to open the gate. The only item that you may need is a shield. You don't necessarily need it, but it does make a couple of parts easier in the game. Run past all the traps. Here, if you want, pop your shield up just in case you take a hit, but you can just literally run around him. It looks like you're going to fall off, but you won't. Head up the stairs. This is the section where you may depend on the shield. Shield up, and we're going to time our run through these pendulums, and if the lightning snake hits us, it doesn't matter because our shield is up, but most of his attacks will bounce off the pendulums. Step on this trap, dodge to the side, and that will kill him for free. If there is a snake man in this doorway, again, just wait for a second, and goodbye he goes thanks to the boulder. That means we've got to move quite quickly to the left, up the hill to the first landing, and in this doorway. Now, don't run straight through the next doorway. Stop just before the trap and bait this snake out. Once he's about to go around the corner, step on the trap and roll back. And more often than not, that will kill him. If not, don't worry. Just slip by them and I'll show you another trick. Run up to this stairwell, stand on it and then exit the game. What that will do is reset the snake men back to where they came from so you've got another few seconds to get through where the boulder keeps going past we're going to use that same trick again in a moment wait for the boulder to go past us run up the hill and about halfway up we're going to quit out of the game again you can keep running whilst you are quitting out the game to make this easier in dark souls you can move whilst the menu is open reload your save and what this has done is reset the timing of the boulder so that it doesn't come around the corner directly in front of us and take out half of our health once you're back in control turn immediately left up the little stairwell watch out for yet another trap just trigger it and jump backwards carry on the only way that we can straight through these turn left at the end now this guy can sometimes get in the way if you push into the left corner with your shield up you normally slip by if not just give him a little tap with your weapon and then run on by at this point i recommend not hesitating unless you know that running straight across is going to put you straight into those death pendulums if you hesitate the snake on the left will shoot lightning bolts at you head up these stairs and on the right there's a broken wall where you can drop off to find a hidden bonfire that will make fighting this area boss much easier i'm only not using it as i need to go back through this area anyway go the only way that you can drop down and you'll come out in the exact same area that you just came from head up the stairs just be mindful that if you are stopping to pick up these items there's a giant golem at the top throwing bombs at you so time it in between the bombs Keep heading up the stairs and you'll come to a series of catwalks. Run out, take the first right. Take the first right again. And depending on if you found the right key, these two are ca these cages here, one of them is a lift that allows you to get back to the bottom of Sen's Fortress so that you can shortcut between the top and the bottom. Turn right once you're outside, following this new thinner catwalk. There will be an archer trying to shoot at you. Don't worry, as long as you keep moving, he'll nearly always miss. Give him a little tap or give him a run around, whichever you prefer. And you are now at the boss door for this area. Fairly straightforward boss, but I'll leave it up to you to defeat him. Once you've defeated him, there's an item that you can then interact with. Click that to move on to the next area. If this video helped, please do all the things that YouTube has asked you to do. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.